we can walk like dead bodies which means we can be alive but not really full of life i mean living is not enough but living full of life giving your heart your mind everything you have for a purpose engaging in a pursuit second thessalonians 3 verse 6 says i command you brethren you withdraw yourself from every brother who walks disorderly second thessalonians 3:11 says some walk disorderly not working at all but are busy bodies in your life you will see busy bodies they are not actively engaged in something they are on they are not on a course they are not running like an athlete if you see any olympics you will see that a person who runs 100 meters dash doesn't look even to the left or the right because his goal is very clear his tracks are straight 9 seconds to win the gold medal so he has no time even to turn left or to turn right or to even check his co, co- uh, colleagues running in order to win the prize and everything is measured in fraction of a second to determine who is the winner that but there are in the body of christ mere busy bodies no order no focus no no race no purpose no goal and they are busy bodies and god and paul is saying i was not like that when i was with you now verse 12 i command and exhort by your lord jesus christ with quietness that they work and eat their own bread so god is saying spend your time wisely developing talents utilizing talents because everyone all of us have something unique you know many times we put a blame on god karthar mela nam baliye potru andavare enak anda taalungal inne kodukla andavare but god has given talents for everybody everybody is unique all of us have unique characteristics even the birds are unique animals are unique how much more we are unique in the kingdom of god with talents hidden but god wants us to work on those talents you know i heard someone who wanted to become a good speaker or on the beach la nadandittu he'll keep on preach he would keep on uh, preaching and he'll keep on practicing some even put some stones in their mouth to to articulate better to make sure their uh, their articulation is effective without talent how did they train themselves to become specialized matthew 25 verse 25 one man was there who gave an excuse he said i was afraid i went and hid my talent in the earth and verse 26 you and god said you are a wicked and slothful servant and you are putting blame on me as if i am the one who reap where i did not sow as if i was impartial you ought to have verse 27 you should have utilized your talent put the money somewhere make it work and so god says in verse 28 take the talent and give it to him was 10 talents and verse 30 cast that unprofitable servant into outer darkness there is weeping and gnashing of teeth we should be engaged in a pursuit and when we have a purpose on the goal automatically our system pursues that goal you know we are goal oriented creatures when we have a goal we will run fast when we don't have a goal we will look around and we are designed like that we are goal oriented 
we have goal oriented systems and never blame we should never blame god for anything with what god has given we should multiply amen kartar kodutha taalangalai nam perukka vendum it may be even one talent like this servant he had only one talent but god has a bright future even with one talent many successful millionaires are today have used one talent and become millionaires and let's even forget that money with one talent people have written books and influenced people with one talent to share the word kartadi vasanathu vandu eduthu solvadharkaga hudson taylor went all the way to china reynard bonke went all the way to africa jigen paul came all the way to pondicherry translated into tamil the word of god they didn't have great talents but they used their one talent in a mighty way and god said if we are not profitable if we do not use it if we waste that talent we waste all the opportunities that god gives he calls us as unprofitable servants you know there was a time when esther was ruling esther 4 was 14 she was taking life you know casual after all na vandu periya aranmanil irukkira enakku onnu nadakkadhu you know i am promoted i have been selected i am on the top most i am the queen selected among many other women hundreds and hundreds of women came for the competition and he she thought she is safe but mordecai said if you hold thy peace at this time in this time if you don't speak you know opportunities come for all of us ellorkume kattar vaaypile kodukkar mordecai said this is your opportunity you are in the palace you have the opportunity to stop mass murder of jewish people you are in a unique position to talk to the king in this time in this time if you keep silent you know god will give opportunity for all of us ellorku maipile kodupar but are we going to use that opportunity or we going to just let it go and mordecai said if you keep quiet this time another place there will be deliverance from another place and all she had to do he finished with this last statement he said who knows you have come to the kingdom for such a time as this we have come into the kingdom of god for such a time who knows god has that opportunity that nobody had namukku and vaaypile kartar kodukkar i mean over othrum kartar kodukkar and we have come into the kingdom with an opportunity and we should not miss that opportunity imagine if esther did not speak all she had to do and amma edume seithala poi raja katta rendu vaartha pesanu avladha idu mari haman vandu yudhagala kola seyrathukku idu or sadhi seidhu kondu irukkaran raja ve idu konjam help pannunga stop pannunga and she has to just say three sentences but she was not doing it and mordecai commands her you have come to the kingdom for such a time you have one opportunity to make your name in the bible and the amma the say and i don't think we will be reading esther or producing movie about esther amen she had that one opportunity and god gives us opportunities amen to influence and we should not miss opportunity rather we should war with opportunity take risk if it is necessary you know god gives opportunity and we should take a risk hallelujah you know nothing can be done in this life without risk amen in everything there is a risk if you start a business there is a risk even employment we thought no risk but we are at the mercy of this employer 
இவர் எப்போ தான் இந்த டிவிஷன் க்ளோஸ் பண்ணுவார நமக்கு தெரியாது எப்போ தான் இந்த ப்ராஜெக்ட் க்ளோஸ் பண்ணுவார நம்ம ஸோ இன் எவ்ரி திங் தெர் இஸ் எ ரிஸ்க் வை நாட் டேக் ரிஸ்க் அண்ட் டூ வாட் காட் வாண்ட்ஸ் அஸ் டு டூ ஐ மீன் வி ஷுட் நாட் பி அ ஃப்ரைட் God will give you victory. Psalm 16 verse 8 says, I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. David is saying, because God is at my right side, I am going to take a risk. I am going to kill these Philistines. I am going, going to take this opportunity and bring down this Goliath. You know, everybody was there in the valley of Elah. the philistines on one side the whole army of israel on this side in the middle was a valley and goliath appeared in 40 days everybody had an opportunity and king david little boy said what is the benefit of killing this man at the same time i don't want to leave him because he is defying the army of god the god of israel so he said i'm going to use this opportunity i want to know what is the reward from the king at the same time i also have passion to bring this guy down because he just is blaming or blaspheming my god he took his life in his hands amen the psalmist said my life is in your hands my times are in your hands our whole life is in his hand we should take a risk for god david took a risk for god and it is worth the risk you know when we give tracks to somebody it is a risk sometimes they will even shoot every time i go and give a track in the in the apartment that's why i go to gateless if i go to this sophisticated houses we don't know whether the dog will come or the gun will come so i say let me go to the poor neighborhood bless all the poor in the spirit you know then god said um, <clears throat> they are the ones who are blessed and there are pe- so many people who who open their homes there is no gate the gateless communities i said let me preach the gospel to the poor so i have and even in those houses there could be some risk so we always will have some element of risk when we stand for jesus amen and we should not miss the opportunity even though it is risky number 4 we should cry to god to take us from the time of bondage you know sometimes we are used to bondages we sometimes love bondages and get used to a lifestyle of defeat நம்முடைய வாழ்க்கையில் தோல்விகள் வரும் பட் வி ஷூட் நாட் ஜஸ்ட் அக்செப்ட் தட் அஸ் அ லைஃப் ஸ்டைல் யூ நோ வி மே கெட் யூஸ் டு இட் சம்டைம்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் ஆல் இஸ் மை லைஃப் லைஃப் வில் நெவர் சேஞ்ச் இப்படி தான் இருக்கும் அப்படின்னு வி மே கெட் அடாப்டட் டு தட் டிஃபீட்டட் லைஃப் ஸ்டைல் த இஸ்ரோ லைஃப் வர் தேர் ஃபோர் ஃபோர் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் தேர்ட்டி இயர்ஸ் ஆக்சுவலி காட் செட் ஃபோர் ஹண்ட்ரட் இயர்ஸ் but they had got adapted to it extra 30 years and then they said my life our life will continue unless we start crying to god you know a bondage a lifetime of bondage can continue unless we start crying to god in exodus 1 verse 13 the israelites were made to work harder verse 14 they made their lives bitter bondage hard bondage mortar and brick serving with rigor in exodus 2 verse 23 the next chapter verse 23 in the process of time the king of egypt died and the children of israel started crying by reason of bondage they cried and the cry came unto god by reason of bondage unless we start crying unless we get upset with our life we should not get used to a life of defeat it's time we increase prayer 
Amen. It's time we increase reading the word of God. It's time we seek God because we wo- we don't want to continue in a lifetime of bondage. எல்லாருக்கும் தோல்விகள் வரும் பட் விட் அக்செப்ட் தட் தட் ஈஸ் லைஃப் Hallelujah. லூயா ஏ மேன் எ டெம்பரல் டிஃபீட் ஷுட் நாட் டீரேல் யூ ஃப்ரம் யுவர் இட்டர்னல் நோ கோல் அண்ட் பர்பஸ் தே வர் சப்போஸ் டு மூவ் டு த லேண்ட் ஆஃப் ப்ராமிஸ் தே ஸ்பெண்ட் எக்ஸ்ட்ரா தேர்ட்டி இயர்ஸ் ஒரு முப்பது வருஷம் எக்ஸ்ட்ரா ஈவன் தட் இஸ் அ பிக் லைஃப் டைம் இஸ் அ பிக் லாஸ் அனதர் தேர்ட்டி இயர்ஸ் ஆஃப் பாண்டேஜ் கேன் யூ இமேஜின் ஒருத்தனை வாழ்க்கையே போயிடும் we have only 40 years to work if 30 years is work in egypt extra 30 years of bondage when god said only 400 years hallelujah when they cried to god then god said i'm going to send moses exodus 3 verse 7 the lord said to him i have surely seen the affliction of my people and i have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters and and their sorrows verse 8 says i come to deliver them exodus 3 9 says the cry of the children of israel has come to me come verse 10 i will send you to pharaoh we need a deliverer for delivery amen we need a deliverer to experience delivery power is needed to break away from bondage it's better we cry and we cry and get an answer from god than to continuously dwell in bondage because we need power to break from bondage we should not accept bondage as a lifestyle நம்ம தாத்தா காலத்தில் நடந்திருக்கலாம் அங்கே கட கத்திரை நோக்கி கூப்பிட்டே இருக்க மாட்டாங்க இதுதான் வாழ்க்கை இப்படி தான் போயிடும் இப்படி தான் இருக்கும் அப்படின்னு அங்கே சொல்லி சமாதானப்படுத்திட்டு அங்கே வாழ்க்கை கடந்து போயிட்டாங்க பட் ஆர் லைஃப் இட் டசன் நீட் டு பி லைக் தேட் பிகாஸ் தே டின் கிரை டு காட் நத்திங் ஸ்டாப்ஸ் யூ அண்ட் மீ ஃப்ரம் கிரைங் டு காட் you know benson ida hoso in in africa you know at 3 am he cries to god it seems el elund moonu maniki kartha nokki koopurar one day some thieves came to his house because he was influential you know like four five thieves came and some relatives were sleeping in front those the relatives they got scared they they went to, they went to this uh, bishop archbishop bishop we have like five thieves we don't know what to do so benson ido says says okay let me face them these people are trained robbers so he comes out and he says who are you then he said they say we are from the underworld we come from the underworld then he said okay I come from heaven. I come from a heavenly place. What do you have to do here? And in the conversation all the thieves left. They got scared the, from the way he talked. They got scared. Just because our life was a continuous stream of failure does not mean there is a ray of hope amen there is a ray of hope hallelujah god says jeremiah 33 verse 3 call unto me and i will answer you you know if there is no call there is no answer yarad phone panna da namle edupo otherwise we don't we don't need to call back or we don't call But God is saying you call first call then I will answer and God said I will show you great and mighty things if we don't call our life will never change automatic change or so long no life never changes even characters does not change our physical character i mean our um, our character the way we treat people the way we handle um our anger does not change automatically 
வயசாக அப்படியே சேர்ந்துருன்னு வி ஷு நாட் பிலீவ் தட் ஜஸ்ட் பை க்ரோயிங் ஓல்ட் வில் ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்லி சேஞ்ச் இட் இஸ் ஆஸ் வி கால் டு ஹீம் ஆஸ் வி ஆஸ்க் ஹீம் ஆஸ் வி ப்ரே டு ஹீம் தட் எவ்ரி திங் இன் லைஃப் வில் ஸ்டார்ட் சேஞ்சிங் ஹால் எ லூயா Amen. He said, call unto me. I'll show you great and mighty things. If we don't call him, great and mighty things won't happen. Jeremiah 33 verse 11. The voice of joy, the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom, the voice of bride, the voice of them that say, praise the Lord of hosts. The Lord is good. His mercy endureth forever. And of them that shall bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord, I will cause to return to the captivity of the land as at the first so god is saying i will make sure that you come back from the land of babylon as you came from the land of egypt there will be singing there will be praise there will be joy there will be the voice of the bridegroom there will be the voice of the bride there will be a voice that say let us all praise the name of the lord he has done great and mighty things hallelujah Amen God is going to give you that season of life where you can praise God for mighty victories King David said in Psalm 18 verse 19 he brought me into a large place dreaming big for God is 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 nothing wrong you know sometimes we might come in a traditional mindset edhu men vena andavare na setu mela pona poda andavare you know we might come with that mindset as if we are trying to please god we are pleasing god by saying certain things those are religious ties well god is saying oh mighty man of valor go and fight these philistines to gideon and king david said he brought me into a large place do david vand goliath adikala apdina he would not have gone into the palace of saul i mean so god has god has you know put us in a kingdom and put us with opportunities and abundant opportunities and none of us can say there is no opportunity it will be very unfair for god not to give an opportunity but only give opportunity for david it will be unfair on his side but i know that god is not partial god is a god who gives equivalent opportunity for all of us to do great things for god amen to enlarge the places to stand up for him to be a warrior to be an intercessor like Esther to rule and reign god has given or will or is giving every day and as king david said we will one day give glory to him because we will also have to write a song namlo or sangeetham elidi aganu before we die that god has done this for me hallelujah god has brought me out god has brought me out from egypt god has brought me out from a t- troubling home god has brought me from a religious setting god has set me free from anger free from you know all the bad habits you now we will have a psalm to write in the end of the psalm psalm 18 verse 50 will finish this verse verse 50 King David again says great deliverance he gives to his king Hallelujah great deliverance That is the end of his beautiful Psalm 18 and Paul is saying Ephesians 5:16 redeem the time the time ellarkume karthar kodukrar I mean all of us are blessed with 24 hours a day we are blessed with opportunities to serve god to live for our family to raise up our children i mean to be role models to become warriors paul is saying don't waste it but rather redeem it don't waste even one minute rather 
if you can add value add value it sometimes even our presence could waste somebody's time namma poi pakkathil vittu porade avangale time waste pannuvom amen so we should say i don't want to go because i'll be wasting their time if i don't add value why should i go there because my presence should add value then it's what well, i rather spend time with god and speak 10 minutes in a neighbor's house more time with god than spend 2 hours there and spend less time with god we should be fruit producing christians amen and paul is saying redeem it because the days are evil hallelujah let's all stand we're going to pray thank you jesus kathrude kathrin kekla and every give me that wisdom to manage time my life thank you jesus hallelujah nandri appa redeeming the time because the days are evil lord give me the wisdom to manage my life not to manage somebody's life kagilutte kekla many time we try to manage other people's lives we try to control or speak and say what other person should change but we going to ask god lord what can i change how can i better use my life thank you jesus paul is saying redeem every day redeem the time because the days are evil hallelujah colossians he says walk in wisdom toward them that are without colossians 4 5 redeeming the time hallelujah lord i pray from today give us wisdom to redeem the time kagrati kekla the most precious part of our life let no one steal your life kagrati kekla and every nobody should come into my life no program no project should come in my life that takes my life i pray no evil person come into your life that will waste few years ikaravatili shikarava thank you jesus thank you jesus call unto me in the days of trouble i will deliver you call unto me hallelujah and i will answer you and show you great and mighty things thank you jesus when the israelites cried to god god said i will take them i will take them to another place a larger place i will take them where they can worship me i will take them where they can sacrifice to me i will take them so they can build tabernacles for me i will take them to a large and quiet place i will take them to a land where it produces automatically hallelujah and god took them through various trials and temptations in the wilderness crossing the rivers and crossing the desert in mount sinai and the and the wilderness of sin the wilderness lord i thank you god take us from a, a dry place lord take us from a place of bondage lord take us to a place of higher productivity kaigle te kekla hallelujah lord translate us to a, another level in our life hallelujah lord you can translate us and trans literate us lord transmute us lord whatever it takes in the walk in matri and every kile irukra samuel solidu pole as his mother said from the ashes lord you lifted me and seated me in the glory of the kings agar kaga nandri solthurum appa hallelujah the horse and the rider you are thrown into the sea and lord the best of the egyptian chariots went down into the red sea the captains went down into the red sea pharaoh and his army went down into the red sea and god said my people cross over on a dry land they were crossing over this ocean but a dry road was put for them hallelujah lord take us to a new place a higher place kai gurutte kekala hallelujah ungalku eduthu vara oru naavugalum vaaikkadhu endru karthar solugirar no one can take your life by speaking against you no one can take your life 
down in Jesus name no one can touch your children's life kaigruthi kekala your children's life should become highly productive lord i pray remove every bad network lord remove every bad link in Jesus name i pray god no link internet link can take our children away from god hallelujah satra mapa even the programs lord i pray entertainments lord even physical entertainments or spiritual or evil entertainments yes we namathnal i pray over kulandikam vaithirkka darshanangal nerevirittu mapa davidukku vaithu darshanangal nerevirindha pole i pray engalude pillegal vaalkil irukkira ella darshanangalum nerevirittu mapa i pray they will go from grazing the cows to leading the nations kaigilithi petrukkolum hallelujah god told king david i have raised you from grazing the sheep to lead the nation of israel thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah great deliverance god will give you kaigilithi petrukkolla wherever you face a risk god will deliver you do not be afraid because the bible says great deliverance god gives to his people thank you jesus i pray god boldness will overtake i glory to kekala the apostles were afraid and they cried to god in the book of acts chapter 4 verse 30 they prayed god give us boldness that wherever i lay my hands signs and miracles shall start happening i glory to kekala and every engal ku dhairyate koduma pa Hallelujah. You can't see God in your life. You can't see God in your life. You can't see God in your life. I pray from today. Every day will be a day of high productivity. Thank you, Jesus. Every day will be a day of remarkable accomplishments. You will move forward every day. Forgetting the past. I pray your family, your entire family moves forward. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You can't see God in your life. முன்னானவர்களை நோக்கி நாங்கள் ஓட வேண்டும் அப்பா டு த ஹை கால் ஆஃப் காட் என் கிரைஸ் உமக்கு துதி கனமகிம எல்லாம் செலுத்துகிறோம் இயேசுவின் நாமத்தினாலே கேட்கிறோம் நல்ல பிதாவை ஆமேன் எல்லோரும் சேர்ந்து ஆத்மாவே கத்திரை சோத்ரி என் உள்ளமே பரிசுத்த நாமத்தை சோத்ரி என் ஆத்மாவே கத்திரை சோத்ரி கர்த்தர் செய்த சகல நன்மைகளே மறவாதே and may the love of god the grace of our lord jesus christ and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with you all your life in jesus mighty name amen kadar periya kadar kodupama hallelujah